So you're watching this video because you need gold within Diablo 4. Now post 1.1.2 actually just before this, they nerfed the ability to duplicate certain things to make gold ultra ultra fast. So today guys, I bring you four other methods which will earn you tons of gold within Diablo 4 season one and beyond. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and wanna see more, be sure to subscribe. So gold is super important. Yes, you can get it quite quickly, but you spend it even quicker. I personally, I respect, I completely changed my build at a level 95. It left me utterly broke. Just experiment with things, upgrading things, extracting, implementing. You guys know gold is used for everything. So yes, I explored many ways to earn gold. And today, guys, I bring you four of the best ways. Also remember guys, when it comes to selling certain things that we're gonna farm today, those smoldering ashes do add quite a bit of gold to your jackpot. So make sure they are applied in the right places. Okay, so to start guys, this works more or less any level. It doesn't matter what level you are. If you need gold, something today, a method today will definitely help you out. Okay, so we're gonna start with a couple of dungeons that you can run, which will earn you tons of gold and the way in which you want to farm these dungeons and we're going to start with mercy's reach which is located okay overshad is right here guys you just want to come up this way right there and you'll see it right here and mercy's reach is a great great dungeon now the way you want to run this is just go here load it up and you want to run past all enemies apart from the objective enemies as well as any elites or big groups of enemies you see so the small minions, the small groups of ads, just completely ignore. We don't need to worry about these. It's the elites we want to be getting, the elites we want to be killing, the other bigger groups of enemies we want to be killing. Especially in the first instance anyway, because when you first come here, guys, you'll have to kill or find and kill three elites. Upon you doing this, guys, you want to pick up all gear that they drop. Because yes, enemies will drop gold, but in regards to earning maximum amounts of gold, don't listen to what anybody else tells you. The best way of doing this is selling gear that you do not need. This is by far more efficient in earning gold. There's no two which ways about this. So you want to start up Mercy's Reach. You want to run to the elites, take these guys out, pick up any loot that they drop. Again, if there's any other groups of enemies you see, big groups, and you can take them out easy, take them out. Any elites, take them out too, pick up that loot. Then guys, as you progress on, you'll need to collect two items for the pedestals to progress on. This is as far as we go within this dungeon. So you want to go to the, there's two different rooms here. You want to go to each individual room. When you get to these rooms, there are a ton of elites in these rooms. And I mean, an absolute ton, guys. If you're doing this in a team, it's going to be way more fish, uh, efficient, way faster. Uh, but you can also do this way easy solo too. So take out all these enemies. Now, it's a great, great, great way to earn easy legendaries and uniques too i used i posted this farm a couple of people couldn't get it working a couple of people could as you as you do guys but hey it works amazing for me but even it's even better as a gold farm so again go to the second part of the objective where you have to collect the items for the pedestal to open the door um then just go to the two rooms and slay all of these enemies again they will drop you tons of items don't leave gold on the floor as well if you see it, you may as well pick it up but the items are what you most want. And I guarantee you guys, nine times out of 10, when you just run this first section of this dungeon, your inventory will be full of loot that you can sell. Look through first though, it's always important to look through any gear that you get dropped because you, you just never know. Whether it's a rare legend, you just never know guys. So always look through that loot first. Then guys, just simply go and sell this. Now to reset the dungeon, create the game, and load back in, as simple as that. That's how you reset dungeons. All these ads within here will have reset again. You farm it up to the point of going to those two rooms full of those elites. You don't need to go any further. Once you've done this, you've collected that loot. Simply reset the dungeon by leaving the dungeon firstly, then quitting out the game, going straight back in or going to your local town, selling the gear you do not want. Simple as that. This is a great, great way. You will earn millions, guys. I mean, if you can do this efficiently, you can probably run this in under five minutes. And you're going to earn upwards easy 600k to a million per run in about five minutes easy guys there's no two which ways about it okay so the other dungeon 
you want to be checking out is Alders Cave, which is located right here on the map. So where is the nearest town? There's actually a couple here. You can come to this point here. Imperial Library, you can come down here. Doesn't really matter. This one here doesn't really matter. But you want to be running Alders Cave. This place is crammed full of enemies. Now, it's quite the opposite of what you would be doing in Mercy's Reach. In Mercy's Reach, you want to be running straight to the elites. In here, guys, you just want to slay everything. Now, the first section of this, you'll have to take down two barriers. But there are many, many groups of easy killing enemies you can get on the way. Kill them all. Don't backtrack to kill, take out one enemy. Just take out the groups you see and just progress on collecting any gold and any item that they do drop. The second part of this uh, dungeon is a kill all. And there are tons of easy to kill enemies within here. And they drop you tons and tons of loot. You can run this dungeon yourself in easily under five minutes if your build is efficient. As you can see right here, guys, I just ran this and I got a couple legendaries, tons of loot, and I left tons on the floor too. There's still tons on the floor within here. I mean, there's so much money to be made within all this cave it's a great great dungeon there's no two which ways about it well even if you if you got a nightmare version of this and you want to earn the xp all this cave is great for that too but if you just want gold nightmare dungeons are not necessary you can run this as a standard dungeon and you will earn that gold guys remember you want to sell that gear but firstly look through the gear first because you just never know you may get a better roll on something that you need Again, to reset the dungeon, leave the dungeon, quit out the game, load back in as a solo player. But remember, guys, if you want to sell those, that item, or if you, even if you need materials, this all works for materials too. Just go to the, uh, the blacksmith, and then you can just obviously break them down, salvage them, and get those materials. But if you need gold, mark what you don't want as junk, sell them all, head back here, rinse and repeat. Incredible. Now, another great place to earn tons of gold and to get loads of items to sell is this pvp area right here now this pvp area is full of enemies that just are on a constant cycle of just respawning they are just non-stop on a respawning cycle now obviously when you come here there's a risk that somebody will be in that pvp mode and will take you out it doesn't really matter as long as enemies aren't hitting you at the same time if they kill you they kill you, you can just respawn you won't have to repair your armor but if you get hit by enemies uh, normal enemies pve enemies at the same time and then get killed by someone in pvp mode you probably will have to start repairing your armor after a certain stage but either or guys you just run around especially this top area here if you do like a rotation of this area here come down and just do like one big full circle you'll see that there's so many ads here there's so many instances for them to drop loot for you. I wouldn't say it's as quick as the dungeons, uh, but it's definitely easier than the dungeons as a solo player. But again, you have to be wary of people in that PvP mode. But this is a great, great way to earn tons of gold, which enemies will drop, and also tons of items, which enemies will also drop, which you can get, then go and sell for. That easy gold, guys, making absolute millions. Now, the best method for me, without a shadow of a doubt, guys, is it unlimited event farm so if you come up to this area here Alzuda, um, and you want to come down to here and i've covered this in a couple of videos in the past it's incredible right here on the map guys there's an event that will be here eight times out of ten so if you come to this uh waypoint come down to here guys you simply just have to take out this event just do the event it's super super quick it's normally take out certain things rescue five or six prisoners and kill an elite as the boss once you do this um, you get a chest, you get gold through it as well, but you also get those obols. Now, don't forget that enemies around this area too will also drop that loot and that gold. You want to pick that up, but the main thing here as well is that chest and those obols. Once you farm the event, once you've got the event done, simply press down on your D-pad and you'll fast travel back to your nearest town. Once you're at your nearest town, guys, you simply walk back through that teleporter. Eight times out of ten, the event will be back here for you to do again. Sometimes it's even in progress, other people are doing it, so you, it's even half the time. And you can more or less do this event. I can get maximum all balls in about 10 minutes, a thousand, simple as that. So you can just figure, figure that out. The amount of all balls you can get from this is unbelievable. But when you are stacked out on those all balls, again, this will take you no time at all. You can simply then go, go, go to your, your, your local town, go to the gambler, and purchase spam the cheapest item. 
or, or spam anything you say if there's an aspect you want and you know it drops on a certain item like the helmet just spam by the helmet with a chance here that you may get a legendary with an aspect on but even if you don't you're still going to make tons and tons of gold when i respect this is the main thing i did for gold um and for individual aspects all i was doing was i was farming this event again nine times out of ten well eight times out of ten it'll be here complete the event fast travel to your nearest town come back the event will be back here farm those obols i was going to the gambler dude within those uh towns simply just mass spam buying the certain individual items i was needing whatever i didn't need i didn't want i was just selling for that gold making absolutely tons and tons of money and you can do this as often as you want this is by far in my opinion the easiest thing to do it's faster than the dungeons it's faster than the pvp area uh if you're in a team you can do it in a team too it doesn't matter it makes it even quicker we can earn an absolute shit ton of gold while doing this and don't forget that event chest can drop you any kind of item you want legendaries ancestral sacred you name it guys it drops them so it's a great great spot for loot it's a great great spot for uh, gold it's a great spot to farm individual aspects we are spending those obols it's just a great spot altogether now i'm not sure how long this will stay in the game again it's an event that's here eight times out of ten for me i've done this for sometimes two three hours and the event's always been here probably one or two times it ain't but again if it ain't here when you do this and you come to, come here to try this simply fast travel back to your town and come back again keep doing it until the event appears but yes it's an incredible spot for all what you need within diablo 4. but there we have it guys in my opinion the four best gold farming methods within diablo 4 the easiest to use anyway Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more Diablo 4, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.